What's good guys and welcome to the weekly market preview here at Elementary FX. For this week's uh, market preview, we'll be looking at the Euro USD and the Pound Dollar. However, there's one thing we need to take note of is that it's currently a Sunday on the 23rd of uh, April and uh, the French will be having their elections in a few hours. So we can expect some volatility on the Euro pairs. Uh, so when market opens up on Monday, we can expect uh, a lot of volatility on this pair and possibly some gaps in uh, the opening prices of uh, the euro pairs but for the sake of this analysis let's um let's just uh keep that out of our minds and let's just do our analysis on a normal basis so this is the euro usd on the daily chart and as you can see like i've mentioned previously from our our previous weekly market preview that the euro usd has been in a range on the daily chart let me just uh, correct that out for you by copy and paste this you can see that we in a range price has entered this range uh, found support here found resistance found support found resistance and found support once again here so if we move down to the four hourly chart um, actually there's a few ways we can tackle this um tackle this uh, opportunity this pair right here because um when I did this, when I did my analysis on this pair a few days ago, I I spotted a potential Gartley pattern. Let me just draw it out for you, um, just to keep you. This is our X to A leg right here. So if we use an a Fibonacci retracement from this swing high to this swing low, uh, you can see that price rejects the the pair rejects this uh, area, which is also the six one eight area. So this gives gives us a valid. X to A leg and A to B leg and this the next leg we'll be looking at will be the B to C leg and uh, this would be in the range of the 382 to 618 level of this leg right here so if I were to use the Fibonacci retracement swing low to swing high you can see that price very nicely comes into the 382 level before rejecting it so we have a potential uh, this would be a valid leg so the next leg we want to look at which is the CD extension uh, CD completion leg will be an extension of this leg right here if we use an extension of that leg swing low to swing high back down to swing low we can see that we have a potential potential completion at the 127 area let me just draw it out for you X to A A to B B to C and potential completion around here and if I were to draw a line of, uh, in that area for you, you can see that price rejects this area very nicely as resistance. If I were to look left, you can see that we have more resistance here. So recently, price has rejected this area, suggesting that if price were to come up in this uh, area right here, our CD completion, we could potentially look for a short entry. That's one way to tackle this um, this pair however there is another way we can look at this pair if we use the ranges if we use the range of this um of this pair that it is currently in let me just get rid of the lines for you and let's focus on the range this range that price is in right now all right okay so a simple way you can trade this pair would be waiting for the bounces of the range potentially you could just do this and uh, if price manages to come down into this area, we could potentially look for a long entry. However, um, uh, this would be part of our SFR analysis as being structured. And we have identified that price has rejected this support line right here in this range. So now we want to look for potential Fibonacci confluences with that range. And one thing that one uh, level we can look at would be on the daily chart let me just uh, draw a swing low to swing high for you if we use this swing low to swing high we potentially have a 0 0.5 level coming right at that uh, bottom range as you can see the 0 0.5 comes here very nicely and if I were to go down to the 4 hour chart you can see that we have a potential extension of this leg right here if I were to use an extension of this swing high to swing low back up to swing high we have a 1618 lining up very nicely with with that um that 0 0.5 retracement level so if price manages to you know consolidate around here before coming right into the confluence zone right here of our channel and our fibonacci confluence 
we could potentially look for a long entry. However, if price doesn't do that, instead it just comes down into our range here, you could potentially uh, just forget about the uh, channel right here and, um, and just have a long entry here. But let's say if price opens up on Monday and comes down into this area, do we have any, any area of structure? Because structure is our most important. We have some consolidation around here. We have support. We have very nice resistance, resistance, resistance. So this could potentially, be, oh, this would be a very good level actually. We have a lot of recent structure. Price has been rejecting this area and respecting it multiple times. So if price manages to come into this area, we could potentially look for a short entry. Ah, sorry, a long entry right here. Uh, try not to be confused with the 0 0.5 level. This is the line we want to look at. You can see that price rejects this area multiple times here. So this could be a potential long entry. However, a more favorable and more um, a more safe position we want to take would be if price just consolidates around here in the form of just doing this before it comes down into this area. Possibly price being the RSI being oversold before we go for a long entry. Uh, one more thing I want to speak about uh, regarding our our Gartley pattern, uh, it's currently a, a valid Gartley pattern. We have our X to A, A to B, B to C, and possibly a CD completion coming right around here. It's only invalidated uh, if price, if this continues to push down past the A leg, possibly very close to the A leg. Because as you know, the valid range would be a, a 382 to a 786 level. Sorry, yeah, 886 level. So we potentially have a range like this. If price pushes past this zone, then it is uh, definitely an invalid Gartley pattern. However, if price pushes down into this zone, we could potentially use our previous analysis trading the channel and just go for a long entry. So this has been the Euro USD on the 4 hour chart. Next up, you want to look at the pound dollar. So this is the pound dollar on the daily chart and as you can see price has been in a range ever since Brexit and ever since the flash crash that caused this candle right here. So uh, let me just make the lines less, less thick. Okay so we have a range right here as you can see price came down into this range, uh, found resistance here, found support, almost found resistance and basically it's uh, just it's just moving very, uh, very slow, consolidating very slowly. However, if we were to go down on the four-hour chart, when before market closed on Friday, you can see that the pound made a big push up for about, for about 300, 300 over pips, and um, causing it to close above our, our range that we have identified. So naturally, with this move right here, we could potentially look for a long entry because price broke out and closed above the zone, suggesting that price is in a bullish mood right here. And uh, recently, you can also see that price has been making lower highs and another higher high right here. So uh, if we were to use uh, this, um, this analysis, we could potentially go down to the hourly chart and we can spot a bullish flag right here as you can see we have our pull right here and we have a flag like this if I were to just copy and paste that you can see that price respects the top of the flag the bottom of the flag resistance support so potentially we could look for more bounces off here and here before price eventually shoots up this is the conventional way of trading a flag pattern um, usually when there is a bullish flag pattern price Will break out to the upside uh, however when there's a bearish flag price will break down to the downside so this is something we'll be looking at on the pound dollar I, uh, if I were to trade this I could potentially wait for price to come down into one of the bottom channels right here so I can enter the market at a better price um, if I were to use a structure based analysis if price let me just draw a nice structure line here no, that's too low. That's too below. Yep. So we can only rely on this um this flag right here for a potential long entry. All right. So this has been 
the weekly market preview. Um, we gone we had we've gone through the uh Euro USD. We have a potential godly pattern and also a potential channel trading um opportunity. The pound dollar we only will we only have a potential uh bullish flag pattern. And um we could wait for price to retrace to the bottom of the flag before we look for a breakout. Uh, however, one thing I want to let you guys know is that it's going to be a Monday tomorrow. The market's open on Monday and I would definitely be staying out of the market considering that the French elections are happening in a few hours. So I would expect some a lot of volatility in the Euro pairs, possibly other pairs too. And um, I will only start trading on Tuesday if the markets have settled down. Um, I would like to... Uh, I would potentially... There could be potential gaps in the euro pair, so that means if price closed here on Friday, we could potentially see markets open up around here or here, depends on how much the news affects the euro. So, this has been the weekly market preview here at Elementary FX. I want to thank you guys for joining me, and I want to remind you guys that um, if you guys are not part of our private trading group, do join us because we really have a uh, very nice meaningful conversations about trading and all that good stuff we also post trade setups and um trading setups and also potential pattern completion so if you haven't joined do go to elementaryfx.com under the uh, members area you will see my membership and uh, if you click it as a junior member you'll you'll see that we have uh, provided you with a link to join the private trading group so that's the analysis for this week. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys on Monday for the daily market analysis.